It's a slightly different kind of music. We had a, a, a band in the studio a couple of weeks ago called The Trio. Now, <laughs> they're, a, they're a covers band, but they do things in a little, their own little funky kind of way. They're very, very busy around the Cardiff area. And uh, you had a little chat with them the other day, didn't you? I did indeed. They were great boys. Have a look at this. So, welcome to the Music Wales studio, to the trio, to Rich and Rob. And I have to say, you're the trio, but there's only two of you. What's going on? Yeah, there is. Uh, it's with great regret that, uh, that Dan can't be with us today. We, we, we brought him in, in spirit, Dan. Oh. It was the best picture we could find. I didn't face. <laughs> Dan, Dan's our drummer. Is Dan halfway and, uh, up a mountain there? He looks like he's halfway up a mountain. Yeah, this is. Uh, this is actually know, a live this, feed. He gets, to go, he gets to go skiing all the time and nice things like so that. So what does Dan do? Dan's the. Dan's our drummer. Okay. And, yeah. and what do each of you do? Uh, I'm the bass player. And I um, play keys and sing. Okay, so you're the trio to cover bands. How did you first meet? We were doing a um, function band, classic sort of wedding stuff. We've all done loads of that. I, we, I studied here in, um, in Cardiff, in fact, and uh, afterwards hung around doing freelance work, lots of you know, weddings, functions, parties, and business things like that. And you get to, after a while, covering songs, you know, because people want to hear what they know, and you cover songs in a way that's sort of expected of how it, how it goes. And we've all done so much of that. So we had actually, joined a new band, a fresh band, that was going to do that, that same job. And, uh, and, well, just the three of us, wasn't it? It was you and I and Dan. Had a little play, you know, one outfit before everybody else got in the room. We just thought, actually, we quite like how we're doing tunes that people know, but in our own way, and it's still good. So you get that outlet, creativity, you feel that you can sort of express yourself. And it, it allows the whole set to be hugely improvised as well. So no, no set that you hear us play is, is exactly the same. Um, all the songs will end up being slightly different every time we play them, and it keeps it interesting for us as well. We're not, we're not just doing the same thing over and over again. You say you studied here in Cardiff. Did you both study music? I did. Um, I studied, I started classical piano, and uh, so completely different stuff. And I, you know, I still, still love it, but uh, I just always wanted to make it up a little bit as I go along. So they. So you can play Beethoven's Piano Concerto in five. <laughs> well, maybe like, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit rusty <laughs> for that sort of stuff. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I did quite a bit of that sort of stuff originally, and then, um, and then I transferred to the jazz course, which is obviously a lot more laid back and a bit more me, really. And, uh, and then I put vocals in when I left and started. So I sort of try and, all the little bits that I've learned, I try and put all together as best I can. So yeah, and that was, and you, you studied up. Yeah, I, I spent five years in Manchester, um, so sort of surrounded by the indie bands, trying to follow, follow the Stone Roses and, um, and Oasis and, and that kind of thing and desperately trying to find a, a funk or a jazz outlet for it. So played with a couple of bands up there and uh, eventually moved back down for, for a studio job. Because you're originally and from Wales. I'm a, yeah, originally from Cardiff and... Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm from Plymouth, <laughs> down in Devon, West Country boy, yar, all that. But all that Wales stuff. is home now. It's home now, yeah, I've been here for probably 10 years or something like that, so it's... Uh, well look, I think we should have a look at you actually in action, is that all right? Yeah, That's great, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great stuff. I mean, it is very different to Sting's version. How would you describe your style? It's rooted. There's quite. It's, I mean, because <laughs> we play tunes, we we play it with sort of funk, funk soul sort of band. Really, it's a style, but quite a lot of the, the tunes that we cover are not from that genre at all. And I think that's a good example, really, of that. That's you know Sting's track there. We try and do classic tracks people know, and maybe. Through, well, we play through lots of generations of different uh, different artists. We go from Ray Charles and proper old Motown sort of sound stuff right up to Britney Spears, you know, modern tracks. But we always try and make sure that it still sounds funky and dancey in us and we've got our stamp on it, really. Yeah, and so when we play live, everybody can have a dance to every single track. Unlike maybe the traditional Englishman in New York, they can, they can have a bit of a dance to that. Um, 
but they can have a sing-along as well to, to everything. It would be great to hear what Sting thinks of that, I have to say. Great stuff. Now, which is your favourite track to do live, Rob? Um, I like our version of Rolling in the Deep, Ooh. which you actually can't hear on any of our recordings because we haven't released it yet. <laughs> but we do a, a great big sort of uh, dance improvisation leading into it and uh, it always gets people jumping about a bit and, uh, and then it's, it's the look on people's faces when it eventually ends up being Adele, which is um, it's a, a great little treat. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. We it's fun trying to push tracks together and sort of quote different bits, you know, from different songs. Don't we? we do quite a bit of that, and that's usually yeah the most sort of fun part of the show. Really, it's sort of towards the end of our gigs, that sort of starts to happen, and we'll just throw a bit from that song in and then put it with mashups, mashups. Mash <laughs> Mash and, and if people watching want to try and sort of listen to some of your stuff, have you got any EPs out? Can they get hold of your music? We're working on stuff at the moment, aren't we? We've got a few tracks though up online. As obviously we've got, the, we we did a video alongside that Englishman in New York cover. But we've got um, got a couple of more ones on our website. Well, yeah, so you can go to www.thatfunkytrio.com. Uh, you can stream uh, a live at Porter's EP and a studio sessions EP absolutely free, and download them as well if you want. Um, and then obviously the Twitter and the Facebook to catch up with us are at that funky trio and facebook.com forward slash that funky trio. Brilliant, we'll put it all on the screen so you can catch up. Guys, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank it's you. been an absolute pleasure and uh, good luck with everything else. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're great lads. Very funky. All the best to the trio. <laughs> now, that's all we've got time for tonight.